I've got uh, another wheel to do here. Yeah, I need to um, machine out the, the centre boss to a bigger size. And I thought I'd take the opportunity to um, just show some of my boring bars or boring heads. Um, this first one here is a all hopter number two size. It's Imperial. Um, the divisions are half a thou per division. You can see there. That's on the diameter. It takes half inch tooling. At the moment I've got a piece of high speed seal in it. Uh, this one is a number two Morse taper with an R8 adapter fitted. I've tried to get the adapter off and I've not had much success. Anyway, we're going to use it like this today. Um, I've never used this particular head because I've only just had it through the post. But I thought I would um, show you some of the others. This one is a number three size, wall hopter again. Although this one is made by Qdora, um, which is Japanese. It's a number three size. In the, it's an exact copy. It's made under license, and um, this one's metric, being Japanese. Uh, as I say, it's made under license and is every bit of quality as a German made unit. The next size I've got is a number four. Wall, these are all wall hopters, apart from that one Qdora. This one, see if I can get, some of these are quite faint. Now these are getting quite old. Um, but there we are. Let's turn it around. I did have a, a couple of others as well, but I slimmed down my collection. Again, half a thou per revolution, or what's that, 16 thou per revolution, depending on whether you're doing the course or fine adjustment. The smaller ones only have the fine adjustment, and the bigger ones have two ranges of adjustment. This is a number five. See if we can find it here somewhere. There we are, UPA5. All hopped, made in Germany, serial number. And they're getting quite big at this size. Let's see if I can just show you. Um, to give you an idea. That's pretty hefty. That's, that's, quite, that's quite heavy to pick up with one hand. I, I don't know what it weighs, but it is quite a weight. Uh, I can't remember the ball sizes on these now. I think it's 7 eighths um, here and underneath. That's probably the worst condition one I've got. All the others are uh, alike new, bar a missing screw or such. Sorry, uh, pull out a bit there. Um, That doesn't look much bigger on the ta uh, much smaller on the table, uh, number four to number five. But believe you me, uh, sorry, yeah, number four to number five. But believe you me, there is quite a difference. They also got to a size six, which I don't have. Um, I'm not sure I ever would bother um, on this particular milling machine. That is quite a weight when you've got it spinning. Um, the favourite of mine is this number three. I tend to use this one quite a lot. Um, they're all good, they're, they're all, but it's just a nice size to use for the sort of work I tend to be doing. And this small one I bought because um, this number three was a was too big for a lot of the engine block boring that I do on this machine, on this Toss Miller machine. And I found this was, was too big to go down the bores. So I thought I'd search out a number two and see how that goes. But what I have been using instead of that is an American made boring head. Um, I can't remember the mate now, but there's its numbers. 
Um, I made my own adapter, which I tend to fit in a in ER collet holder, and I use this one for boring engine blocks. That's what I'm not using my main engine boring machine because I do have a proper boring machine. Um, quite a nice bit of kit I'll show you one day. But there we go. That's that's the um, range of boring heads that I personally own. If you've got any questions? Oh yeah, let me just say, all the um, wall hopters are um, boring and facing heads. That's in. You can bore a vertical hole, bore whatever, and you can also face a part. Um, let's say you can't get a part into a lathe because it's too big or a difficult shape. You know, like this wheel. I won't fit any of my lathes. And you want to say reface this surface, and you can do it with any one of these boring heads. They are all have an automatic slide on them so it's much like turning it into a lathe if you like um, but it can do things that a lathe can't do being a, a milling machine and vice versa lathes can do things that you wouldn't do on a milling machine anyway I hope that's of some interest I hope that gives um, some comparison of what to expect in sizes. This is a number two. There is a number one, which is quite small. Uh, you know, you can imagine it jumps down again, so it's quite a small unit. That's number three. I really like the number three. It's a very common size, it's very popular. This is a number four. That's getting to be quite a big boring head. And a number five is a big boring head. And a number six, I don't own. And I'd imagine that's really quite a lump. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, we'll get on to the job itself.